rookie move number 101 million. We nailed the wall to the floor. Morning guys, welcome back to the vlog here on our off-grid homestead. Today guys, we are gonna be putting up our very first wall. What do you think about that, Jules? I'm so excited. We have a we have gotten a really early start this morning. Marty and I got up around 5.15, 5.20ish. And last night we got all of the materials that we need. So there shouldn't be anything holding us back from just whew, tackling this project today. I'm excited. My prediction is that we will have this wall up by the end of the day. What do you guys think? You know, you know our predictions. <laughs> All right, usually it takes like three or four days to do what I think we can do in one day. But we've never done this before, right? So let's see how it goes. Some of you have been wondering how we're building this house. These are some of the books that we're using here. I will link to these books down in the description below. But each of these books has something that the other book doesn't, right? And so this book right here um, has some really good information on actually laying out, right, the groundwork before you actually build the house. This one right here doesn't have as much practical advice, but it's got a lot of technical information, right? especially like with design. And so as you're designing things, right, it, it gives you the measurements for what things ought to be right, like stairs and hallways and stuff, minimum requirements, and then what's actually recommended. And then it goes into meeting the code, right? And so it talks about the code and some of the key things that you probably wanna know about the code and as it pertains to that section, right? So that was the roofing or the framing section. This is the sheathing section. So it goes through and talks about all the, all the technical information that you might wanna know. There are span charts for girders and headers and floor joists and ceiling joists all that kind of stuff so you can figure out what size joists you need what size girders you need what size headers you need all in this book right here this one doesn't have it though this book right here has a it's really good in its graphic design and layout as in like it's just really simple to read um, has a lot of good pictures that show how to do different things right so here laying out your um your footer and your stem wall and different types right this one right here has a little keyed uh footer this one no keyed footer um you know where your rebar goes and how it should be in there then it shows you the right here like what it ought to look like in the wall this one right here also has a chart about um floor joists and uh spans for those depending on what type of wood you're actually using all right so right here right is the different floor joist systems right you got lap you got, these are kind of like a, a splice joint. And then this one right here is actually the one that we did, right? As you watch this build ours. And so it's with joist hangers and it is to have, right, the most space under your subfloor. This is the kind of the historical model of how it used to be done. Anyway, lots of great information in all of these books right here. You ready to start laying out our wall? I'm ready. All right, let's do it. We're gonna lay this bad boy out. You ready to start laying out this wall? Yep. What you got there? Seal saw. You're going to start cutting something? I don't know. <laughs> <laughs> we trimmed the tongue off of this side here before we got started this morning. And then we trimmed up this side right here just to make it perfect. The right length. It was actually a little bit long. Now it's time to start laying this out. So using our guide here in the book, all right, we've marked our studs here. We've got studs every 16 inches going down and then here for the doorway, right? When you come into the house, there'll be a door right here in the center with a center hallway going down. Then there'll be a window over here for this bedroom, 10 by 10 bedroom. So we marked king stud trimmers, um, trimmers, king stud, right? Stud, stud, stud. King stud trimmer for the window, trimmer, king stud, and so on. It's coming along, it's going slow, but we're taking our time, we're trying to do it right the first time, so we don't have to take it apart and do it again. That wouldn't be fun, sir. Be awful.
All right, so let's continue on here. Move you guys over here because the sun was getting in your eyes. You don't like sun in your eyes, do you? I don't think so. and a half right 82 and a half is where the bottom of our header is going to be so we want to measure the trimmer right here from the edge here up to there 82 and a half inches okay go ahead and mark it okay header. well that's not the whole header right the header is only eight inches oh, the cripples also yep there'll be cripples up there let's go mark the other one here it's going so good <laughs> we want all the headers the same height Right, so that the windows and the doors are the same height in the house. So we need to measure from that line up to the top, or up to the top down to that line, and then mark it for on the trimmers for the windows. Top of this board? Yep. Okay. Down to that line you just drew. 25 and a quarter. So let's go mark it over here on the windows. 25 and a quarter. Okay. Quarter. Okay. Perfect. There is probably an easier way to do that, guys. Let us know down in the comments below because we've got a lot of walls to build, right? This is our first one. I'm sure there's some techniques that we don't know that you would like to share with us. Let us know down there, all right? We're going to go ahead and cut these guys, get the headers cut, put them in, figure out the cripple lengths, and keep on working. got the wall all laid out guys so something that we're doing here which some of you may like to comment on and say whether we're doing it right or wrong but it's one technique of doing it apparently we're putting our these are two by eight headers right over this window it's 36 by 60 uh window and so the headers is a double eight um double two by eight and then we're just putting spacers here so that we can put insulation on the inside here of the wall, right? It's just lifted up from there and we've got our double two by eight there like that. Same thing for the door over here. I know there's some other ways to do it. You actually spread them out. You like to build like a box and then you could insulate inside the box. But apparently you can do it this way as well. Multiple ways of doing it. We notched out right here for our rebar. So when we tip it up, That'll be not in the way. Oh, right here where we've got this seam here, we've got a double uh, cripple up here. And so we'll nail those together there. And of course it'll be sheathed as well. And then we'll make sure to overlap this with the double top plate. So that that is strong and put together there. So I think guys, we are ready to start nailing this thing together. Yeah. Dude, we built this wall ourselves. This is so cool. And like, I really understand how it's working now. So it's, it's awesome. Really fast, I love it. Too. It did go pretty fast, huh? Yeah, Not I too bad. Fast. It's only like 10. So we're going to go eat breakfast, get some fuel, come back, nail this thing together, put the sheathing on it. And then the four of us are going to try to stand this thing up. Think we can do it? I don't know. A poll right up here, guys. Can we lift it or not? Don't wait till you watch it. Answer the poll now. Yes or no. And then uh, then we'll see what actually happens when we try. Bacon and eggs for breakfast was really good. Now it's time to start nailing this bad boy together. We measured it again, double checked everything, and we added something. All right, so we added this two by six right here to serve as um, a place for the other wall. This is a through wall. The long wall will be a butt wall to it to uh, be nailed to, but also for the sheetrock on the inside of this wall to also have a place to be nailed to as well. So we added those. Now let's go ahead and start nailing it together. I still need that Sally doll, guys. If you have a doll that you'd like to send us that we can put up on a tree or over by the thermometer, 
that can just like watch over us and make sure we're staying safe, I'd love for you to send me one. All right, here we go. First nail in our first wall, Jules. You ready? Woohoo! Move my hand in case it comes through. Yeah. Yay! Ah, it's done. The first one, guys. <laughs> so cool. Ah, our first stud is done. Three nails per stud, right? Two by six is so for three nails per stud, if I'm not mistaken. That's what we're gonna do anyway. Let's nail this bad boy together. Rookie move number 101 million. Guys, we nailed the wall to the floor. Yes, we did. It is stuck down. Actually, it's just right here though. Yeah, well, we went to nail this in. We nailed too close at an angle. And we nailed it down on like three corners, right? So this corner here is nailed down. So it is on there. <laughs> All right, rookie move, I know. Hopefully we won't do it again. We learned our lesson here. Right? Thank you. That's good. It's good. It's good to learn a lesson. That's pretty funny. Now let's fix it. What would we just do? We shifted the, the, the frame so that it was square. That's right. <laughs> we didn't actually film it, guys, but we measured from corner to corner, corner to corner. These guys held it right on the corner. I hit the corners until we were square. So it's at 25 and 7 and a half inches. Like diagonal, both 25 sides. feet, seven and a half inches, both directions. Yep. This is so awkward. It's cool. Let's stand up, Dan. Stand up and use your body. It's got a gear in it that makes it so it goes fast. Really? Yeah. Wish it would work for me. It doesn't work there for me either. Kids, guys. Kids these days. All right. It's time to start putting the sheathing on. We're going to try to put the sheathing on. And lift it up with the sheathing. That way, it's just done. Sounds fun. What do you think, Jules? I'm so excited. Can't wait. I think it'll be cool. This one's easy. All right, let's do it. guys it is time now we're gonna try to lift this wall if you haven't yet voted check out the card right up here uh, it should come across the screen right there you can say whether or not you think we'll be able to lift it let's go find out be careful of your toes okay okay smash them and we're gonna have to burn the house down to get it off of you probably. I was like Marty you have any confidence that we're gonna you haven't felt it yet yeah, yeah, I need that a ghost on it. No confidence? Yeah. I have zero confidence. We can't Ready? Ready. Alright. One, two, three, go. Okay, stop there. Hold on. Alright, so we see what we got so far? Let's let it back down. Let's let it back down. Oh, okay. You gonna be able to pick that up there? Wait, pick what? Chair? No. I can't lift it that high. I'm not like Maybe after you get yours, Marty, you can help go for yeah, some stuff. I'm not okay. tall enough because I'd have to actually use my forearms like, by themselves. So okay. Can't do that. All right. Let's try it again here. Yep. What's that? Two chairs. Heavy. I'm surprised it doesn't break the chairs. No. 
really. What if we're getting halfway up there and we can't do it? It falls on us. I mean, from my side, I feel like we got this easy. Not because I'm strong, I, just, I don't know why. Maybe it is because you were carrying most of the weight. One, two, three. to get our first wall up. You wanna see how we're building our cabin and take a tour of our off-grid property here? Well, there are videos right over here that you can go ahead and watch. We hope you guys have a really great day. Keep smiling, and I'll see you right over there in just a second. <laughs> 